Hi all, we'll uh, today I'm going to show you a mural. So we have done a tracing on canvas and first we'll uh, do a background color with the light blue shade. If you don't have light blue, just uh, take ultramarine blue, mix a little bit of white so that it turns into light blue and then just color it off uh, as I'm showing you on the screen yeah do with flat brush so that you will do it very fast and using i am using a number seven brush over here to color it i have light blue so that is the reason like sky blue so i'm doing with that if you don't have just uh, mix white and ultramarine blue so that it turns into light blue and then color it then yeah done with light blue and then just uh, we'll move on to ultramarine blue take ultramarine blue and start uh, coloring with sides just uh, place paper or any uh, rough uh, sheet behind that and start coloring like this just randomly you just color the outline the outer layer wherever the uh, like we have left over with the white shade then we'll start uh, merging it see while merging you have to keep it in mind that take one corner and i'm cleaning my brush to the cloth not um, i didn't uh, dip my brush in the water just uh, start giving strokes from the corner and then just uh, give strokes curve way see curves yeah cow, uh, curve shape okay then just clean the brush uh, to the cloth and don't dip the brush in the water okay yeah just uh, merge it properly and wherever excess color is there you just remove that with a brush and see how the curved strokes I'm giving don't give the straight strokes because according to the design we need to merge our color so from edge you start uh, giving the curved strokes so that it will merge as I am showing now yeah see how easily it has merged now after this uh, keep it aside to dry then uh, take molded the hardener and the resin then try to mix it I took uh, one molded pack because my canvas is of uh, 18 to 10 size just mix it properly Yeah, now use uh, powder and uh, take the size of the brush my uh, flute size is uh, of my brush size so that is the reason I am taking the brush size brush uh, size and then cutting the edges now see that the flute is very like you know even yeah now take a brush and uh, at the back side of the tip of the brush just uh, press it to get a whole texture okay as I'm showing now now after this make few holes like this then after that uh, with the remaining molded make thin coils and then just uh, we are going to give a design to the edges of the flute now apply three lines with the fabric glue then stick uh, thin coils on that with like uh, molded coils just cut the sharp edge then stick it the coil should be even the same size okay take, uh, like while you're cutting take the help of a paper cutter and then just cut it do it the same thing on the either side other side even you stick it with the thin coils
yeah now the flute is done just gently place the flute on the newspaper and keep it under the fan so that it dries and uh, we have left with the molded then make thin coil and we'll start off uh, applying glue near the feathers then take a coil and then stick it on that the excess part you just cut it and press it slightly with the finger and even do the other feather we have already applied glue then just directly you stick it off and even cut the excess part yeah slightly press it so that it looks neat now we are going to make flowers for like you know for the edges of the canvas now for that what you'll do make small small balls and keep it aside as I'm showing you now yeah after that you can uh, stick the border with golden uh, lace or any motis or sort of thing like that first we'll finish off making this We'll make all these balls and keep it separately on uh, rough paper or rough cardboard and uh, with the left hand you make just uh, take the help of the talcum powder and then uh, it don't stick to our fingers then uh, you have to press with the left hand index finger and thumb finger and with the right uh, hand thumb finger and index finger just press it so that it uh, make it a drop shape petals and give a stroke one line stroke with the paper cutter Now I will be showing you how to make a beautiful rose, make a like a chapati or a round base, take the help of uh, a brush to get it even, then I am using a favicol cap so that uh, we can get a round nice shapes, take it 7 or 8 or 6, ok I am taking 7 rounds and uh, while doing that see that edges should be smooth just take the help of the powder and just uh, get it smooth then place it uh, one after the other like one on the another it has to it has to cover half of the circle just uh, see how I am doing yeah just uh, I have finished I have smoothened all the edges and I am placing one on another. Yeah, see one, two. You have to color the half of the, cover the half of the circle and then just roll it on. As I am showing, just roll it lightly. Don't press it. Just roll it lightly and take paper cutter and then cut it into half. Then if you cut into half and uh, open that, it will look like this and the layers you can just pinch it down and bend it backwards so we will stick on either sides yeah what we'll do is yeah instead of sticking one uh, thing we'll do let's color first and then later after drying we'll uh, go for sticking yeah for that what we'll do first we'll make a leaves four leaves 
for those roses just make it a little bit uh, round then uh, do it a drop shape then give mi mid rib and veins with the paper cutter like that and then just press the edges to get a nice sharp edge and give little bit uh, curves or bend the leaf to get a different look and first we are going to color that instead of sticking on that canvas first we are going to color now for the uh, glass you are going to do a middle part just make four uh, balls and press it slightly and make a holes with toothpick or a pin as i'm showing you now just do it yeah now after that what we will do you have to wait let the mold it rise and then color it we are going to color it now so we'll see how many leaves uh, like petals we are in need for more flowers yeah this is done just uh, let me check if it's is it enough or we need some more So in this case we are Yeah the third flower is also done now we are in need of 6 petals 6 7 8 petals yeah we will do it and we'll finish off fast Yeah then meanwhile we'll get the molded uh, that fruit and uh, it's like you know still a little bit wet over there you, but you have to wait till it dries like half an hour at least you have to wait then color it with brown color you have to uh, do two coats of uh, brown with it on it then later you use gold metallic color to highlight uh, the flute i'll be showing now just uh, paint brown with proper like you know all they should you should not leave any gap like you, you should not see any molded over there fill it properly then uh, color it color the flowers leaves and everything before uh, sticking on into the canvas right so that it will be like you know easy for us and even we will not spend lot of time and uh, coloring carefully on the canvas okay we will color first then later on we can stick it on the canvas yeah in the same way the second flower even i'm coloring with red just dab it so that it uh, the obstacles go into like inside that so that it looks neat yeah now next we are going to color the leaves and uh, yeah we color the leaves with green color light green or any dark green it's up to you it's of your choice you can color yeah i'm going to color green now because uh, instead of sap green i like this light green After coloring, uh, after coloring leaves with green color, you will uh, color the rest of the like uh, 
flower the center part with brown color and the petals with pink color just pink color is very light so that you just give two coats of pink color to each uh, petal See now I'm coloring these petals with pink color. The pink color is very light. You need to give two coats of that. Just color it all the color all the petals with the same pink color. After coloring, just keep it aside and coming to our canvas, take a lemon yellow and then just fill properly from the edges inside that feather. Do this for both. Next you need to take light blue and give a line besides that lemon yellow as I am showing now to see and If you don't have light blue, just uh, as I'm like you know, telling you once again, mix white and ultramarine blue and just fill it uh, that you get light blue. Yeah, I'll start coloring this just outline besides that yellow with the light blue and down part, just see that you get a W shape. W shape and this do it like this on both of the things.
the color is wet here so that is the reason it's like you know we are seeing the yellow shape but you just uh, do it after drying give a light blue shade then inside that we are going to uh, do with ultramarine blue and even that should be uh, the down part should be in like you know W shape or heart shape it's not actually heart shape to give it just a W uh, curve and coming to down part color with ultramarine blue Yeah, take light green and uh, with the triple zero press, just start giving the out, uh, out strokes like you know from inside to out. First, you have to draw an outline just besides the molded coin. Okay, I'm taking sap green first, then with the triple zero press, give a strokes outside, use the same technique both the feathers and here and there give a strokes with light green to highlight that and after that what we will do we are going to color that coil yeah we are going to color that coil the center of the peacock feather with pearl metallic gold ok the feather is done now see I am giving with the strokes with light green after that take gold uh, metallic pearl metallic gold and then just color the coils While coloring, just be careful. Just color it neatly. Yeah, done. See how it's looking. Yes, color it for both. now we have done with the feathers now we'll move on to the coloring part take lemon yellow and just start coloring it 
take lemon yellow orange and red and keep it ready yeah you can take golden yellow or lemon yellow it's up to you just take yellow and then do it as i am showing you now after coloring with yellow we'll move on uh, the next line with orange and then with red just uh, do like this with yellow After coloring with yellow, uh, just take orange color and give a strokes just down of the orange shade and then we will give one more stroke with the red color. The orange shade I have done, then we will move on to the red shade give red uh, like fill with red and then give dry strokes and then just merge it then wherever is required just fill it with golden shade See, I have left with yellow here and there. Let me finish this. We will uh, cover those remaining part with yellow and orange. Yeah, give two coats of pearl metallic gold. Here and there, just fill it up with yellow and then give orange shade and with the dry press stroke, just merge it. Yeah, now to give an outline what we'll do you'll take a red add a pinch of black to it so that we'll get a maroon shade a darker shade than a regular red shade okay then start uh, giving an outline so that it can highlight it and uh, it enhances our drawing yes then it's like little bit darker than or actual red give an outline just do it like this with the outline We have done with the red outline then take green color and then just besides the red outline then start drawing a line so that it enhances our uh, article yeah just draw a line like this a green line wherever it's required
so after that i kept that canvas let it dry the meanwhile we'll color the flute to highlight that just uh, color the flute with pearl metallic gold or 3d outliner just see how i'm doing just fill it off then uh, give two coats of gold pearl metallic gold and even fill those holes with pearl metallic gold and after drying just give a 3d outliner look Then apply glue near the flute area and then stick it properly. Now after this we are going to stick the pearls. Yeah, now sticking is done. Now apply fabric glue. Now to highlight, okay. First, uh, to highlight the dress, I am giving a dotted uh, texture. Yeah, take fabric glue and then just give three lines to the flute so that we will stick uh, motis over there. Take, I uh, am uh, taking white motis and then just stick it on to highlight. Uh, uh, the dress part I took 3d outliner and put dots on that and for the legs I took flesh color and then just colored it and after this take red color and give a mindy uh, design mindy look for the feet Take red color and start giving the mehendi look. And for the nails, what you'll do is you just add uh, red and a little bit of white in that so that we'll get a light pink shade. Just let me finish this, we will do that even. This is done. Give a proper outline. Yeah, now what we will do is let me finish that fingers part with the skin color. Yeah, now we'll take. Uh, red and add white to it so that we'll get a light pink shade for the nails just color it how i'm showing now and then fill the rest of the area with red properly Yeah, nails have done and the rest uh, we just take red color and do it neatly the mandy part 
and after that uh, to give a like you know differentiate the fingers of the feet we will take red color and add a pinch of black to it to separate those fingers Yeah, now take a uh, red and add a pinch of black to it to get a maroon shade and then take triple zero brush and then just give a outline to highlight the feet. Then we'll move on. will stick uh, kundans or lace or whatever you have i i am having a golden beads lace so that i'll cut it and then just stick it now the golden beads then now a stones beads lace take it and then just fill it and then later i'll take a this is excess then let me cut it then again i'll be uh, like uh, using motis red motis to stick there Yeah, do it on other uh, leg even near the ankle. Just measure it and then start sticking in the same way. Just do it as I'm sure. sure. Yeah, we will we are going to stick rose flowers on both the sides and stick leaves and flowers and everything and finish up the article yeah it's a bud stick flowers leaves petals and uh, whatever we have done and yeah this is done hope you all have enjoyed a lot while doing this stick leaves petals and uh, outline i have done with 3d outliner no? 